Hi there, I'm Marisa and welcome to Marisa Home. Today we're doing a craft. We're going to do a cheesecloth ghost. It's a fun, super simple uh, craft to do over a weekend. And I say over a weekend because the longest part is just waiting for the cheesecloth with the paste to set. Other than that, it's really, really easy. Um, you can just add some felt eyes and call it a day and it's still really cute or you can get a little creative and add your own twist on it and it's gonna turn out really pretty too. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this craft and have some fun. Let's jump into making this uh, cheesecloth ghost. So what I have here is just a little basketball, just a toy basketball, that'll be like the ghost head. And um, I have a, a mug, this is about four inches tall. On the taller one, um, I did a vase with about 11 to 12 inches tall, but with the same basketball underneath. And then this is cut um, a 22 by 22 inch uh, cheesecloth. This one is cut 36 by 36. And then we also have some parchment or if you have a slip mat or anything that you can put um, underneath because it might get a little messy. So we'll just kind of put this over here for a moment because in order to get the cheesecloth nice and stiff and onto here to um, build the structure of the ghost, we will need to make the paste. And we're making the paste with uh, two cups water and one cup cornstarch. So we'll go ahead and put that in there, mix it up, and then pretty quickly we will need to get this into the microwave um, to heat it up to make it into a paste. So when you go to put it in the microwave, do 30 second batches at a time, mix it and kind of see what the consistency is. And it roughly takes about two minutes in order for it to thicken up to the paste that we're looking for. So let's head over to the microwave and make this happen. All right, so now we're in the kitchen and we haven't heated this up yet. So it is pretty thin. So let's go ahead and pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. We'll give it another mix. And then we'll pop it in for another 30 seconds. And here we go. This is the consistency that we're going for. So that took a, roughly about two minutes. Now we're ready to um, let this cool off a bit <laughs> and then put the cheesecloth in. So let's go back outside. Okay, now that the uh, paste has had a moment to cool off, because you definitely, definitely do not want to touch it while it's still hot, we will take our cheesecloth and just kind of integrate the paste and the cheesecloth. It's gonna take a little bit of time to work it through, but uh, you know, enjoy it for a minute. <laughs> it's some sensory play. Um, also be careful, you do want the, uh, cornstarch paste to still be warm so you can still work with it, but not hot because that's definitely dangerous. The two cups water and one cup cornstarch will work for this smaller um, cheesecloth ghost. And it was the same amount that I used for the larger uh, cheesecloth ghost as well. So um, we won't go through as much of this paste, at least that's what I anticipate, <laughs> with this smaller ghost, um, but you'll, you should have some spare left over. So just take a moment, knead this in, so it's all over. So I think I have enough of the um, paste all over. So I'm just spreading it around, getting rid of any excess. I just wanna make sure I got it all covered. Okay. 
Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think it looks pretty even. Um, everything seems to be covered with the paste. So I think we can go ahead and start um, molding this onto our stand. So let's bring over our mug and our uh, nifty head, <laughs> the ball, and we just drape it over. I think I'm gonna drape it this way. And just make sure um, that all around the cheesecloth does touch the, uh, the surface that you're working on, because then we know that it'll be sturdy to stand on its own once everything dries. Okay, I think it's looking really good. Maybe just hold the ends apart so they're not bunched up too much. If you do find that one side is a little bit longer than the other side, at least with this ball, I can just kind of rotate a little bit so I can get it to um, lengthen on the other side. So a little trick instead of having to start over. Okay, so I think this is the way I like it. So time to wash hands, Wash that bowl because that is paste, it will stick if you don't wash it right away. Um, it's kind of a mess, it'll still get off, but it's kind of a mess. And then we'll come back and decorate the larger ones. So get out um, your felt for sure if you want, you know, your eyes. I'm gonna try and do some roses along with some beads and some ribbons. So we'll just kind of see how it works out. So yeah, let's get cleaned up. All right, so we're all cleaned up from doing the little ghost. This will need a couple hours. I actually let it sit overnight to dry, so I decorate the next day. So this one I did the day before, and um, now we'll take it apart, we'll take it off the stand, and we'll decorate it. I wanna show you how to take it off the stand and see how it's nice and stiff. It'll be able to stand on its own. And then we're gonna take the ball out. being real gentle and it's nice because with the ball you can squeeze it if you had um, a balloon underneath you can just pop it but we didn't have any balloons so we're not doing that option all right so there's our ghost I think it looks really good and let's see I think this is a nice flat area for us to work with so I'm going to Kind of turn it this way. Let's start with the eyes. We'll just cut out some eyes. So just regular black, black belt. And no need to be perfect. Just kind of have fun with it. So we have our hot glue gun and we'll just put a whole bunch of glue on the back. Unless you want a one-eyed ghost, I don't see why not. And the second one. Now you could call it a done day just like that. Let me make sure. Just like that, super cute um, as is. But like I said, I wanted to try it um, I wanted to try a couple things. So I'm gonna take three flower buds and some ribbon and some sparklies. And I don't know if I'm gonna do beads or not, um, but just kind of see where this, this takes us. So let's see. The flowers, I've cut about an inch of stem and I think I want to maybe poke some holes. I just took 
the um, scissors and poked a hole from the inside. So let's see if I can make another. And I'm just kind of twisting on the inside until it breaks. Let's do another one like right about here. I don't know, I'm just kind of picking spots. <laughs> Twist, twist, and brace through. Okay. So I've got three holes right here for the flowers. Let's just kind of place them in um, decoratively just to see how they fit at first. Oh, I think that's gonna be perfect. Okay, so let's glue these in. I'm gonna start with this one a bigger one and I'm just gonna put um, glue all around the bottom of the bud all around and just slip this in to the wall and let it sit hold that until it is dry. Gunning everything, of course. I'm gonna do some sparkles. I have a couple sparkles. I don't know how this is going to work out, but let's give it a try. whatever you want to decorate your ghost with or just leave it with the felt eyes because it's super cute like that too. Uh, yeah, and then you can, uh, so storing this. Find a, um, like a box, you know, uh, to put this in so you can store it over the year until you pull it out um, for Halloween or if you pull it out for any other <laughs> time of the year, um, you're gonna want to keep it safe because it is, even though it is dip, it's still very fragile, but it'll keep year after year, so you can use it for a long time. So I hope you enjoyed it and you had a lot of fun doing this craft today.